Okay, this lab is going to cover steganography, which was discussed in the previous presentation. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to copy over the lab folder to our C drive. And inside this folder, you'll see open stego. Uh, discover me 02.png and then uh, steg hide folder. So, first we'll install open stego. And before, um, before I go into the um, actual lab, we're going to look at this file in the hex viewer. Okay, so looking at this file, you see that it's a PNG file, it says right here. Kind of scroll down. No, nothing really stands out when you're looking at this file through a hex viewer. Okay, so go back to our lab folder. And this is a file we're going to take a look at and actually extract a file out of it. So if you open up a command prompt, and then we'll go ahead and change directories. And then inside this file, this directory, I'm sorry, is a batch file. Launch it and launches the program. So we want you have two options up here. You have the embed and extract. We're going to go ahead and extract the file, and we'll select LSB, which is the least significant bit. The input file. So discover me picture. We'll just output it to the same directory. No password, password's blank. Now you notice in this directory you have another image now, another PNG file. And it's actually, a, it was an embedded QR code or picture of a QR code inside of this discover me photo. This concludes this part of the lab. Okay, for the second part of the steganography lab, we're actually going to embed hidden text inside the picture. So if we open up the steg hide directory, you'll see a photo in here called Z Invisible Man. Then you'll see the text that we're going to embed called inside the inside that text file is this is a secret message. Okay, so we'll open up a command prompt and we'll change to that directory to the steghide directory. program is just called steghide. If you just enter it, then it'll come back with all the options you can use for the program. So we're going to embed a file. And 
and the file we're going to embed is the z embed dot, dot text and the, the image we're going to use is the z invisible man dot jpeg we're going to password protect it with the word password and then our output file Okay, it says it's done. So we can go ahead and double click that file and you see it looks the same as the other one. Um, we'll also take a look at these inside of a hex editor. Okay, this is the original one. It tells you it's a JPEG file. The other one, still the same JPEG file. Look at the size over here. So the original one is 20,682 bytes. The new one is 20,698 bytes, so just a little bit bigger. Um, we'll search this file, see if you can find the text in here. So I'll just search for this. You can't find that. Oh, remember it said this was a secret message. Um, and we could compare the two files. Okay, this program just basically compared the files and tells you um, the lines where the where the differences are, but I mean, it really doesn't tell you much. So by looking at this, you're not really going to gain much out of it. So as you can see, you can't really tell that you embedded a text file inside of this this image. So now we can go through and say you know you sent this to somebody and you they knew the password now they can actually extract the, the message that you sent them using the same program you need the, the password and then the, where you want it to go. Okay, it says the text was extracted to the, this file. So we'll take a look at this file. And you see that's the same message that we embedded the first time. Okay, this completes the second lab of steganography.